Yes, I can. If I believe in myself, then there's nothing I can't do. Yes, I can. And if you're willing to try, you will find out you can do. And if you don't mind, if you'd be so kind, I would like to be a friend. Do you want to be mine? If you help me along with my plan, yes, I can. Yes, I can. And it's easier still when I ask for some advice. Yes, I can. Two heads are better than one when you think about it twice. If we all try together, we will find out a way. Make tomorrow even better than it was yesterday. We'll be learning that sharing is fun. When the day is done. We'll be ready to tell everyone Yes, I can Yes, I can Oh, hi ho, Kermit the Frog here And I'm here in my nephew Robin's room And the place sure is a mess I better get started doing some cleaning up around here before somebody gets hurt by falling. Toys. Oh well, I guess I better get busy. Oh, I better get some air going in here. There we go. Zoom! 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 Hi everyone. Hi Uncle Kermit. What you doing? Well, I was just cleaning up the mess in your room. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I zoom, thought it'd be a good idea if I were to... Zoom! Something's zoom. not quite right here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me there, Robin. Zoom. Uh, uh, yes, Uncle Kermit? I, I said I am cleaning up the mess in your room. That's right, Uncle Kermit. Yep. I heard you say it. You heard him too, right? Well, yeah, but don't you think you should help clean up the mess in your room? Zoom! <laughs> what mess? This mess. All these toys and games and books and clothes, they're everywhere. Oh, that mess. Mm -hmm. But gee, what can I do to help? I'm just a little frog. Well, even a little frog can help. Oh, really? Sure, helping is fun. And it's a great way to show that you love someone. Well, how do you mean, Uncle Kermit? Well, Robin, I remember once when we were babies, Piggy, Fozzie, Gonzo, and I helped Nanny by cleaning up a big mess in the nursery and the kitchen and the bathroom. Y you did that to show you love Nanny? Right. Of course, we also did it because we made the big mess in the nursery, nursery and the, the kitchen, kitchen and the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. Mm. You see, it all started one day when we were playing with clay, and things got a little out of hand. Boy, this here is fun, isn't it, guys? Yeah, almost as much fun as playing volleyball with an antelope. What? Never mind. There, it's perfect. Wolfgang von Rolfhoven. The greatest piano player in history. Oh. Bombs away. Hey. Oh. Hold still, Kermit. I'm almost done. What? Hurry up, will you, Piggy? I can't hold this pose forever. There. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. I never knew you were so talented, Piggy. How'd you ever make a sculpture like that? Um, that's my little secret. Come on, let's go wash our hands. I won't tell if you won't. Pretty neat bow, eh, Scooter? It looks more like an old shoe to me. <laughs> I doubt if it'll even float. Oh, yeah? Smarty Pants! <laughs> hey! Go oh, bye bye! No, Animal! The show's not over yet! Sorry. It's okay. No, Beaker. This is no ordinary microscope. With this one, I can look inside your mind and see what makes it tick. Yes, you. Now put your head under here. Brain. No, you don't have to be that way forever, Beaker. 
If you study real hard, someday you may become a peanut butter and jelly brain. There, now I've got a pair of hands to clap at my great jokes. <clears throat> okay, okay, <clears throat> here's a funny one. Why did the kangaroo cross the road? <laughs> Give up? Because he wanted to hop a bus. Get it? <laughs> kangaroo, hop, waka waka waka! Boom! Yeah, the clay is alive! that crash? What crash, Nanny? Oh, no. I just bought this lamp. Um, what lamp, Nanny? This one, Piggy. The broken one. Oh, that one. I wonder how it got broken. Gee, I didn't see anything. Did you, Gonzo? No, I didn't see anything. Did you see anything, Scooter? Uh-uh. Did you, Fuzzy? Uh, I think I saw an elephant, Nanny, wrestling with a gorilla, and they knocked it over. But I could be wrong. <laughs> huh? I don't care who did it. Just try to be more careful when you play. Someone could get hurt. Sorry, Nanny. It's okay. Gee, Nanny was awful nice to us about her lamp getting broken. Yeah. We should do something special for her to make up for it. Right. Let's put our minds together and think of something. Ow! Mm. 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 Yummy! What are you yumming about, animal? Oh! Gee, I wonder if he knows any good dog food recipes. Hey! That's it! You want to make Nanny some dog food? No! We'll make up to Nanny by fixing some lunch for her. That's a great idea, Skeeter. Yippee, Skippy, let's go! Let's go for it! Out of my way! This'll be fun. Let me give you a boost, Piggy. Why, thank you, Kumi. <laughs> Gee, Piggy's a little heavier than I thought. What did you say, Kermit? Uh, those are the nicest shoes you ever bought. Why? Thank you, Kumi. Phew. Mm-hmm. This looks delicious. Shame on you, Wolf. Give me that sandwich. But... No buts, Wolf. I'm Nanny's official taste tester. <laughs> This is yummy! Whoa, Piggy! Far out! I didn't know you liked dog food sandwiches! Oh, yuck! I'm poisoned! Every great comedian has to know how to make a whipped cream pie in case he should ever get into a pie fight! <laughs> Smile! <laughs> hey! You can't do that to me! A backbiter, eh? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Take that! Those guys get into Nanny's kitchen anyway. That's right, Beaker. This is my latest food invention, self-baking cake dough. All it needs is a final ingredient to make it rise. That's right, Beaker. Yeast. Go ahead. Just put in a teaspoon. Shut up.
Nobody eats my hot dog stand and gets away with it. A guy has to put his foot down somewhere. Unfortunately, so do dough girls. Skyscraper cupcakes, my favorite. All right, that does it. I may look like a mild-mannered hot dog vendor, but in reality, I'm... Ta-da! Captain Cookbook. Who? Captain Cookbook! Okay, Dogo, I, Captain Cookbook, order you to surrender or else... Or else what? Huh. Why do they always ask that? Uh, or else I'll huff. A great gingerbread weirdo. Right, Beaker. We've got to do something fast. Go get me my beast blaster. One blast, and that beast will be no more. I said yeast blaster. Beaker, don't you know what yeast does? It makes dough get bigger. Yay! Oh, goody! I'd always wondered what an earth cupcake would taste like. Yummy! Gracious! Cookbook, you've got to stop the piggy dough girl before she pigs out on the earth. Stop her? Are you nuts? Look at the size of her. <laughs> You'd need a cookie cutter as big as the moon. No problem. I can make you as big as her with this. That yeast blaster won't work on me, Bunsen. I'm not made out of dough. This isn't my yeast blaster. It's my weirdo inflator. Oh, that's different. Okay, Beaker, start pumping! Hi there, you handsome blueberry biscuit! Hello there, my little overstuffed cream puff! Captain Cookbook! Quick! Finish her off! Are you kidding? I think I'm in love! How's about sharing a piece of that with me, sweetie pie? Oh, thanks! How about whispering some sweet nothings in my ear, piggy pie? How about if I stuff some sourdough in your ear, noodle nose? <laughs> <sighs> Next thing you know, she'll be baking me ear muffins. What's going on in here? We wanted to make up for breaking the lamp, Nanny, so we made you lunch. Oh. Scooter and I made you milk and snack cakes. And Kermit and I made gingerbread frogs. I see. And I made you a cream pie. And I made you a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. And Beaker and I baked your cake, only it's not really baked because we're not allowed to use the oven yet. Mm -hmm. And I made you an ice cream sundae, Nanny. Yes, Saturday. <laughs> oh, my. Listen, why don't you kids go back into the nursery? I'll clean this up, and then we can all have lunch together. Uh, thanks for inviting us, Nanny. But uh, we better be going now. Come along, Beaker. Oh, what am I going to do with this mess? Don't worry, Nanny. We'll clean it up. Gosh, where'd that come from? Never mind, Kermit. I'll clean it up. <laughs> oh, look at Animal. If you kids really want to help, why don't you give Animal his bath while I take care of the kitchen? Okay, Nanny. We'll give Animal his bath, won't we? If you ask me, this is a bad... Gonzo? Um, I mean a great idea. Are you sure you can handle him? 
Sure we can. Grab hold of him, Scooter. But he's all sticky and gooey. Scooter! Okay, okay. Oh, gingerbread frogs. Hup, two, three, four, open up the bathroom door. Hup, two, three, four, company! Halt! Scooter, turn on the bathwater! Yes, sir! Fuzzy, get the bubbles! Yes, sir! Uh oh, the bubbles are tickling my nose! Ah, Vroom, tight, Fuzzy! <laughs> Thank you, animal. All right, animal, into the tub. No bath, no bath. <laughs> uh, uh, oof, no bath. <laughs> Come back here, you. Animal, stop. Animal, stop. Never fear. Gonzo, the matador is here. Turtle, turtle. Here, boy. Here, turtle. Me, boy. <laughs> Maybe it's 
animal's stomach growling? What if it's someone else's stomach growling? <laughs> Good point, Fozzy. Let's go this way. Oh no! We sprung a leak! We're here to fix your leak. Hey, I'm a pretty good plumber, huh? Uh-oh, the bear has sprung a leak. Say, have any of you rats seen our friend animal? No. <laughs> Say, what's that gurgling noise anyway? That? Why, that's the great gurgle. The, the great, great gurgle? gurgle? If anyone would know where your friend is, he would. Let's go, you rats. We got leaks to fix. Row, row, row your boat gently down the tank. Gee, I wonder where we find the great gurgle. Oh, I know. All we have to do is figure out where gurgles come from. Oh, silly. Everybody knows gurgles come from water going down the drain. In that case, I know how to find him. Pull the drain flag. Fuzzy, no! Going, Fuzzy. Now we'll never find the great gurgle. Yeah! Uh, are you the great gurgle? Snow White. Snow White. Snow White. Gee, I thought she was shorter. Fuzzy. Sorry. Oh, uh, listen, your gurgleness. We're looking for our friend Animal. Have you seen him? If anyone can answer that question, I can. Well, can you? No. Oh, no. Now what have you done? We washed Animal, Nanny. Yeah, look how clean he is. Squeaky clean. Oh. I just finished cleaning the kitchen, and now I have to clean the bathroom. No, you won't, Nanny. Yeah, we'll clean it for you. Come on, guys, let's do it. No, 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 you don't have to. Please. Let's clean the mirror, Scooter. All right, Skeeter. Oh, my. <laughs> my goodness. A snip snip here and a snip snip there. Here a snip, there a snip, everywhere a snip snip. <laughs> but Fozzie. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ring around the bathtub. No problem, Kermit. Um, I mean, all we have to do is skate it out. Just tie on some brushes and start skating. What? Gee, I wonder if there's an Olympic event called tub skating. How's that, Nanny? Why, it's... It's, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's clean, too. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you've totally made up for breaking the lamp. Wow! Great! We did it! Oh, no! You broke my scale. We didn't mean to. We'll make it up to you, Nanny. Yeah, I'll wash the car. I'll do the windows. I'll vacuum the grass. I'll paint the carpet. And I'll clean the TV. <laughs> There's still a spot. Maybe it's on your side. Here, got it. Yeah, gee, Uncle Kermit, that was a swell story. Oh. But it sounds like you made more of a mess than there was when you started. Oh, well, you might be right, Robin, but the important thing is that we made an effort to help clean up. Mm. And um, speaking of cleaning up... Oh, yeah, I guess we didn't get much done during that story. No. But I'll help you now, Uncle Kermit, mm. if you tell another story. Oh, oh, sure. Let's see, uh, oh, did I ever tell you about the time we helped Lou the Penguin find his sister and then we showed the Canadian honkers where to land and brought back the golden key to the Maharaja? Uh, no, I can't say that you did. Well, it all started one day when we were playing rodeo. Uh, of course. Hey, Mr. Bob! 
See? This little canister holds messages, which these birds deliver all over the world. Gosh! Oh. Yeah. Gee, no wonder he looks pooped. Actually, kids, I think this little pigeon must have banged into the window and conked his head. Then don't cut any windows in the box, Nanny. He might knock himself goofy. Is that what happened to you, Fuzzy? Oh, no. I've always been like this. Sheesh. Kids, I've got a cake in the oven, so you keep an eye on the pigeon, but let him rest, okay? Okay, Nanny. <laughs> Poor little thing. Oh, me? Oh, Fozzie. Gosh, messenger pigeons fly all over the world. I wonder where he was headed. I wonder where he eats. I wonder if he's ever seen a Broadway musical. Now, first off, he's not a he. He's a she. Huh? And secondly, if you did, he's a so blooming curious, why don't you just ask me? <laughs> Whoa, who are you? Pain Pigeon's a name, I think. <laughs> uh, and who are you? Well, um, I'm Kermit. I'm Skeeter. Gonzo. Fuzzy. Piggy. Wolf. Terminal. Scooter. Cosmo. Colonel. Sliver. Man, you're not on my list. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Up, up, up the way. <laughs> wow, she's gone. Not very far, Fuzzy. Look. Wow. Back so soon. <laughs> um, what kind of stuff do you deliver anyway? Important stuff, silly stuff, <laughs> whatever they tell me. Well, Nanny told us you were supposed to rest, Pig. Rest? I can't rest, I gotta go. If those blokes don't get their stuff, I'm ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Not if we make the deliveries for ya. Huh? Messenger Weirdos Gunzo and Fuzzy reporting for duty, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? Not even close. Gonzo's right. What do you say, Pig? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. I've got a computer. I'm real athletic. I've got a great sniffer. I can hop. I'm weird. I'm dumb. You're strong. Yeah, we can do it. And I'm cute as a dickens. Well, I suppose. <laughs> Split up in order to make all these deliveries on time, okay? Okay! Okay, what? Gordo, you and Fuzzy there deliver this envelope to Antarctica. Huh? But uh, I'm Gonzo! And I'm Fuzzy! Okay, all four of the go! <laughs> huh? Oh boy, that way we won't be lonesome, huh, Gonzo? Why? Right. It's a letter to a penguin named Lou from the sister Sue at the Cleveland Zoo who's got flipperitis and is not sure what to do, so you have got to get through. Shoot the be doo Boy, that was a mouthful. I'll say. Wolf, you and Andy there take this. Wolf? Andy? That's the nut that holds the steering wheel of the SS Thunderbottom. <laughs> The old bucket's completely out of control in the Indian Ocean, headed for the rocks. You've got to save her. Uh, 
The Indian Ocean? Go west to the Far East and then north to the South Seas. Can't miss it, right? Right. Whoa. Come on, Andy. Okay. <laughs> Skippy, you and Brain deliver this golden key to the Maharaja of Ranjapur. Wow. What is it open? How should I know? I'm a messenger, not a mind reader. Sorry. Pickles, Hermie, you have the most important job of all. Pickles? You've got to find these animals on the way to their favorite wintering grounds and head them off. Pickles? Why? Because their wintering grounds might not be there anymore. Look. Last year. Nice, eh? Yeah. Same spot this year. Gosh. Gee. Ever see a goose try to double? Well, I'm scared. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. Neither are zebras in a shopping mall. Or elephants trying to drink water from a parking lot. Gosh. Gee, what do I get to do? Scooper, pay attention. We'll stay here. Track everyone on radar and keep them posted by radio. I ain't certain, uh, ma'am.
scaring your pig, eh? Right. Um, are you a Canadian honker? Yep, like we all are, eh? Shopping mall, eh? Nope. Bowling alley. Oh, brother. Honk. Thanks for the tip. This way, fellas. Honk, honk. Kermit, we set your autopilot for your next stop, Africa. Africa? Did you hear that, Piggy? We're going to Africa. <laughs> Hey, animal, you got those maps? Thanks. What's this? Coloring map. If you don't want a tear, I don't put it in your eye. What is your eagle duck? Got a problem, Wolf? Well, pig. Seems Andy here just turned our map into a picture of Santa Claus! <laughs> gotcha! In that case, head for Santa's ear and hang a left when you get to his nose! <laughs> right. Oh, oh, oh. oh, brother. That Antarctica coming up here, me fuzzy! Oh, 
today. Well, lady. <laughs> Hey, animal, this isn't the Indian Ocean. A map? Uh-uh. This is Cowboy Bay. Turn the page, would ya? Okay. How that? That's more like it. Now kissy. We found the Thunder Bottom, Pig. Good job. Now jump aboard and deliver that. Jump? Yeah? Ooh, fun! Whoa! I can't believe this. Oh, great. Watch out! I've been waiting for for 300 years. Hi, where's Sue? Your family's been waiting 300 years for a weirdo, a comedian, and a duck? Penguin! Whatever. Hi, kids. How's our patient? Hang on, Captain. Hey, that was fun, eh, Pickles? Right. If Peg's feeling better, maybe she'll want to get going. Oh, you watch her, okay? 
Peg still sends us a postcard every year. She delivers it herself, too. Wow! Mm -hmm. Uncle Kermit, you were right. Helping sure is fun. And it makes your room a lot cleaner, too. <laughs> yeah, don't mm -hmm. worry. I'll never let my room get that messy again. Yep, it's just about perfect now. Mm -hmm. Or except for the pillows over there, I'll go straighten those pillows oh, up. be careful, Uncle Kermit. Those pillows are really old and they might... Ah! ...all apart. Unusual weather we're having. Mm, looks mm. like we better get busy again. Here we go again. Mm. Oh, say, Uncle Kermit, aren't you allergic to feathers? <laughs> oh, oh, I think I am, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, Yeah! <laughs> 